Hey, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be uh, putting some indirect lighting here above these windows. And my original plan was to just have an LED strip light up here. But the problem with having that kind of light or any other kind of light, if you're setting away from that light, it can be a distraction, it can be uh, a little bit blinding to you. And I've seen a lot of other buses that have a type of a little shelf here with lighting behind it. And what that's doing is that's projecting your lighting up on the ceiling, making an indirect lighting. And uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to build that and show you how to do it. Stay tuned. Okay, so what I had in mind was we're going to take a, this is about a six foot long section here above these three windows. And we've got a couch that's right below this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pine, some uh, one by uh, one by fours, which is uh, about three quarters thick, three and a half inches wide. And I'm going to come out with a with one of them this way, and another one, kind of kind of making a, a right angle or an L shape. And then in this trough is where we're going to add our LED light strips. We're also going to have some gussets. This is the type of gussets that I got. I got these over at Menards. Um, they're actually a shelf bracket that's supposed to be this way, but we are going to use them this direction. All right, so now that we've got it built, uh, what we're going to do is take these top screws out. We'll leave the bottom window screws in, take the top ones out, because that gusset is actually going to be uh, screwed right in between there, and that will also help hold those windows in place. <laughs> So even though those were self-tapping screws, I went ahead and uh, put that shelf up there and scribed a mark on it and drilled a real small pilot hole that, uh, that'll just help get everything in there a lot easier. All right, I think that's pretty good and secure fits real good. As you can see, I also cut in an outlet box. The thing I didn't really like about that was that I had to put the box in sideways. They actually make a, a set of switches that's sideways. I couldn't find just one, one toggle switch uh, that was sideways. So I thought, well, I'll put two lights in here and we can have one on if we want it, you know, uh, dim and both on if we want it bright. One thing I noticed whenever I put the lights inside of here, uh, it really, uh, really kind of darkened it up, and you know the space is only about two and a half inches here up top, so it's really kind of hiding a tremendous amount of light. So I thought, well, what can I put in here as a reflector to kind of reflect that light up into the ceiling and out? And I thought, well, why not just use some of this uh, tape for? Um, it's a metal tape. It's for ducting work, and uh, it, it almost sticks to anything, so it's going to work great. <laughs> These are the lights I'll be using. They're a, a GE product LED fixture light. Um, they're actually a plug-in light. They're not really made to be hardwired, but I am gonna hardwire them into the switch. I have several of these throughout the bus. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. I got them from Walmart, and these 22s were the biggest they had, and I believe they were somewhere around 18 bucks. So that's really cheap for LEDs.
hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, be sure to check out our other videos on this uh, bus conversion. And hopefully more to come. We'll see you on the next video.